Hi y'all, it's Lulu Louise coming at you from the Carolinas with a video, 10 minutes or less. And my kitchen is an absolute clean mess because all I have on here is fruits and vegetables and I'm getting ready to head to the lake and I'm making my peanut sauce, but I also wanna show you what I'm gonna do with all my leftover scraps because I really am trying to do no waste, I think. Um, we throw away so much food every year, um, and I'm really making a conscious effort to try and use everything. So, I just got done making my Thai salad rolls and my vegan sushi, and now for the peanut sauce. And if you know me, I love peanut butter. I love almond butter. I love cashew butter. I, I can eat it by the spoonfuls. Um, but being whole foods, plant-based, no oil, that makes it tough because I really limit my nuts, my seeds, and my legumes um, just because they're so calorically dense. So, and we'll get into that later because I think that's a really interesting topic to discuss. So, a couple things. Before I get started here, I just wanted to let everybody know when you are working with the rice paper, it gets really wet. So what I did is I laid down a, um, a hand towel and I put my rice paper, my wet rice paper on that and it really did soak up the liquid. I highly recommend um, that you do that. So I'm just gonna put this aside and then we have the peanut sauce. So what I'm going to do is I use Peanut Butter Fit there's actually another brand that I like even better, but this is a pretty good, um, a pretty good brand, um, and it doesn't have any sugar in it. They use monk fruit, which I love. I think that is a great sugar alternative. And so this is just peanut um, flour, but it does have urethanol. So. Um, you know, I don't, well, I don't know too much about that, but that's something that I'm going to have to do my research on. And anyway, so <laughs> my husband just came home from the cycling, um, and he's all hot and sweaty. Hi, honey. Hey. So anyway, so I am going to use this for my peanut butter sauce, and I have a cup of peanut butter powder, but my little secret that I do use is using raw peanut butter um, that you just do at the grocery store. And I am just gonna take a huge chunk out of here. And if I had a, my own cooking show, I would call it a little bit of this and a little bit of that because I kind of make things up as I go and I don't really measure. And when you are baking a cake or a brownie or a cookie, actually it's really important that you measure, but when you're just cooking, go for it and experiment. Um, but if you do need the recipe, I'll try and kind of calculate it in my head of uh, the quantities to use. So you're just gonna dump that in here. And, um, and then what you um, will need is something sweet. So you can use um, brown sugar. Um, I try and use more of something natural. So I love uh, maple syrup and I use the pure maple syrup. And I am going to use, I'm gonna use a couple of tablespoons here. Um, like I said, you know, I'm not measuring, but your taste is gonna dictate of, you know, what's missing. And then I wanna add about four cloves of garlic. However, my garlic is really big. Um, I got some big, beautiful pieces of garlic that I'm using. And I have this Pampered Chef garlic press and I love it. And you just press it and it gets out all the garlic and it just gives you such wonderful flavor without big chunks of garlic. So I have another clove in there that equals about four cloves. And then of course, um, lemon. Lemon is, it's, it adds a wonderful freshness to this. And you're gonna need about I think for this amount, um, I'm gonna do two lemons. And I have this lemon press, and it's probably one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. My all-time favorite is, of course, the Vitamix, but I think this actually is this, my second favorite. So you're gonna press this in here, and then we will get 
and it's really difficult. I have my husband watching me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna cut another one. And honey, you can come say hi. Uh, no, no come say hi. <laughs> He's such a people person. Mm -hmm. I, oh, you wanna do it for me? And this is my husband, Scott, so say hi to Scott. <laughs> hey guys. And there we go. So we've got that. Now, let's see. Um, I am also going to add some sweet chili sauce. This is, um, this does have sugar in it. Um, so I'm not being all that good. Um, probably, I'm gonna say one, two, two on that. That's pretty good. Um, two large tablespoons. And then, kind of looking around, I am going to add some water. And then I actually, I'm gonna add hot water. And why I'm gonna do that is because I've got that peanut butter in there that needs to melt. And I'm just gonna stir that around. I may add some soy sauce. But we'll see. We'll see how this tastes. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, y'all. And it smells good. So just mix that up really well. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more water. Honey, how many, um, what's six tablespoons? What's that equivalent to? Um, four tablespoons is a quarter cup. Okay. So a quarter cup plus two. Okay. So a quarter two, cup, two, two tablespoons. Two so tablespoons. Quarter cup okay. Quarter cup. I'm just trying to find like what I think you would add on the water. Maybe a quarter cup. I'd start with a quarter cup and if you need more, um, just add more. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is good. I'm going to add a little bit more sweet and sour sauce. Probably another big tablespoon. It just needs to be a little bit sweeter. And I'll take another taste. I'm not using my finger again. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. That gives it a little spicy, sweet flavor. And adding the real peanut butter makes it taste like the real deal here. And again, I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. So here again on the water, I'd probably start with a quarter cup as well. So a cup of peanut butter, four cloves of garlic, two lemons, quarter cup of sweet chili sauce and I think I think you're good to go and if you need the salt you can add um, miso is a good alternative um, and then also soy sauce um, Bragg's amino aminos is good um, so just play around with it you know experiment in the kitchen it's fun so like I said I don't like to waste food and the leftover vermicelli noodles which i have here i completely rinsed out and i've been i wrapped those in towels so it would suck up the water and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add all my leftover veggies and chop them up i've got an extra yellow pepper i've got extra orange pepper i'm going to go ahead and chop those off up and then the sauce will also be used for my vermicelli. So I'm going to pour the peanut sauce into my double dip. Because I want to be able to keep this on ice when we're at the lake. And look at how beautiful it looks. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. There you go. And we are ready 
for a beautiful day at the lake. And um, I'll go ahead and mix my salad together. I'll take a picture so you can see kind of what it looks. Um, and um, I hope you have a great day. And again, to the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Thank you.